Hey guys, my name is Yvette and welcome to my DIY channel and I hope that you guys are having a great day. So for today's video, I wanted to share two air dry clay home decor projects that I made. One is a really easy wavy vase and then the other one I wanted to try out the wavy air dry clay art that I've been seeing everywhere on Pinterest and on TikTok. So let's get started. Okay guys, so for our first air dry clay project, we're going to start out with the vase and I'm going to be using Daz air dry clay for this. You're also going to want to grab something that can be in the shape of a vase. So I'm going to be using this cleaning wipes container, but you can also use like a tall water bottle or like an actual vase. And this is going to give us our vase shape. Also, I made sure to wrap this in plastic wrap so that my clay doesn't stick to it when it dries. So the first thing we're going to do is roll out our clay nice and thin, but like not too thin. So if when you pull your clay up, it rips, that's too thin. This is how my clay ended up and now we're ready to make our vase. Grab your clay and drape it over your container and then you can just adjust this to your liking. And so now I'm just going to start making little folds in the clay and try to work with your clay so that it doesn't rip. So like if the clay wants to naturally fold a certain way, just go with it. Here I'm trimming off really long pieces of clay and then after this I'm going to add in more folds but I couldn't find that footage or I think my camera just stopped recording so once you're done with any trimming or folds let this dry. This is how my base turned out and I love it. Although with the Daz clay, it did give me like these little wrinkles, but that's okay because we can just easily sand most of that off. Alright guys, so now you can paint this however you'd like and the color that I'm using looks super green on camera and I don't know why because in person it's actually like way more muted and dusty but it's like super green on camera, it's so weird. The last thing we got to do is seal this and I'm going to be using Deco Arts Triple Thick Gloss Glaze and I'm going to be using this vase for dried flowers but you could totally use actual flowers if you just put like a little cup in there with some water just make sure not to get the actual clay wet since this is air dry clay. Okay guys, so for our second air dry clay project, we're going to be making that wavy wall art that's like super popular right now. And so for this project, I'm going to be using creative paper clay because it's a lightweight clay and if I wanted to hang this on the wall, it wouldn't be like too heavy. So you want to grab a canvas, whatever size you want your art to be, and I'm going to start out small. So this is an 8x10 inch canvas. And then I also liked that this had a little border to it. Grab your clay and roll it out nice and thin. And I do recommend using creative paper clay for this. Okay. 
Okay guys, so once your clay is rolled out, place it on top of your canvas and then just start making your little waves on the canvas and there's no right or wrong way to do this, just do whatever you feel looks good. I kind of feel like I should have added in a few more waves, but oh well. Now I'm going to start removing the extra clay using my needle tool. And I did want to keep that border that this canvas has, so I'm going to take the clay off of there too. This looks pretty good to me right now, so I'm gonna let this dry for about a day and then check in on it. Okay guys, so this is my first check in on it and it's drying really well. I didn't get any like wrinkles on this one like I did with the Daz clay when I made the folds on that, but I can see that the clay did shrink a tiny bit. It's not touching the border anymore, so I am gonna fix that. I'm going to add clay to the little edges of my project so that it completely touches the border and then I'm just going to let this keep drying for another day. So here she is completely dry and I am going to sand her where I added in that extra clay because it needs it. Now I'm going to paint this a taupey brown that I mixed together. Okay guys, so this is where I went on a bit of a journey. So after I painted, I decided I wanted to seal this with a gloss and I thought it looked good, but once I removed the tape from the sides to show the frame, it I just didn't like it that much. I thought it looked kind of like awkward with a matte border. So then I decided to repaint it again and then seal it with a matte varnish. And the matte varnish was still kind of like, like it changed it. It made it look like it still had like a tiny bit of a gloss. I don't know. So I still didn't like it. So then I repainted it again and then I loved it like this without any sealer on it at all. It just looks so much better to me. But if you didn't have a frame on it, I feel like it would look great with both the matte sealer or the gloss sealer. Alright guys, so that's it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions by leaving a comment and subscribe for more DIYs and stay safe, stay healthy, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!